Okay, to plan for your blueprint, the most important part of this is that your name or your word is going to be in reverse. We're going to draw over this with white glue. So you're going to look in your kit and see, I gave you two pieces of um, either mat board or cardboard. And so you want to see what size you have and which one you want to use. The mat board, if you have mat board, that would probably work the best, but the cardboard works fine. So like if this were smaller than my piece of paper, I would trace it onto my paper first so that I knew um, the space that I'm using. So there's a few ways that you can write your name or your word backwards. You can either do your name or you can choose to do a word. Um, if you wanted to do like um, hope or spring or um, a word that describes you, maybe artist, um, you could do something like resist, um, whatever you want. So I'm just gonna do my name if you're good at writing in reverse, that's great. Um, not only does it have to be in reverse, so that would have to would have to be from right to left, but your letters also have to be in reverse. So, for example, if I'm really good at this, I could write my name backwards. I'm starting at the right and I'm going in reverse. So here is Miss. This looks really bad. Okay, so there's there's my name in reverse. If I want to do a better job, like I want to do mine in cursive, I think, because when you're writing with glue, kind of the fluid lines work better. Or if I just want it to be, if I want to just write it normally and then reverse it, that would be um, an easier way to do it where I can really make it look the way I want. So if I'm doing that, I can just write it as I would normally. So I'm going to, and you need this big because when you go over it with glue, if your lines are real close together, the glue will just pull up on itself. So I'm gonna do cursive. And that's as big as I can go on this paper. You can do block letters. You, you could do much taller letters if you want. So here, this is going the correct direction, and I don't want that. I want it to be in reverse. So what I can do is either get a, a marker or something that's going to kind of soak through so I can see through my paper. If you have tracing paper, all you have to do is do it in pencil and you can just flip it over. But what I wanna do is I wanna see it on the back. So I can see it in reverse on the back, which is exactly what I want. So now that I see it on the back, I'm gonna trace over it the way it is in reverse the way it is backwards. And then I'm gonna transfer this to my board this way. So you can either, if you're really good at copying, I could just look at this and copy it that way. But if I want it to be more exact, I can put pencil on this side. I'm kind of holding the pencil to the side. And I mostly just, I just need where my letters are. And I'm going to transfer it this way. So I don't know if you've ever done that, where you put pencil all on the back and then when you flip this over, you can trace over it. So I can see it on the back. And then I'm going to trace over it. I'm going to use a ballpoint pen. Let's see if this is working. 
and you just need it faint enough so that it shows up. So I can just barely see it, which is good enough because I can trace back over it. And so this way I've got my design in reverse. on my board so it's pretty faint but that's good enough so that i can see it so i could still trace over just so when i'm working with the glue i know which lines to um, go over so here is my Here is my word. Now, everything else that I do with glue, I don't need it to be in reverse, so I can just go freehand directly onto this. So you're going to add your designs. If you want to put some suggestions of what you want to do on the background um, in pencil, you could do that. But then you're just going to draw with the glue. First show me that it's written uh, backwards on the board before you get the glue. What's nice about this is if I mess up or if I don't like something, I can just wipe it off and go back over it. Only thing that's gonna print is just where you put the glue. So I'm kind of holding it above and I'm tracing over my lines. And this is why you want your letters kind of big because the glue will kind of um, pull up on itself. Okay, so there I've got my name backwards in glue. So now I'm just gonna add to this. If I want like the C to be thicker, I'm gonna just add, make that a little thicker. Now I can add designs to the background, so they can be whatever I want. So I might do zigzag. If you did um, a word like um, like spring or happy or whatever it is, have your lines match your uh, word. So the more I put out here, the better. So I can even do little dots. I can do, um, I could do curvy lines. And if I don't like something, I can just wipe it off. Just scrape it off and keep going. So the main thing that I want to um, show up nicely is my uh, word, whatever it is, or my name. And then I want to put a, a lot of cool uh, textures and designs in the background. You can really draw, you can draw it all out first if you have a real um, cool plan in mind. And then the what you want to do is keep this flat and don't let anybody set anything on it. You don't want to smudge it. And when this is completely dry, you're going to be able to print it. And this will be your printing plate. 